Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Morning Wellbeing Ritual. Um, so today we're going to be doing some yoga, and I was thinking we would do a really classic sun salutation, but we'll do it three times, three rounds, and the first round I'll do um, a real morning sun salutation, because my practice in the morning is very different to my practice in the afternoon. And uh, when you're practicing first thing in the morning, it's, uh, for me anyway, a real old lady's practice. You've been lying pretty stationary in bed all night. The muscles are tight. There's not that much fluid moving around you yet. You're, you're taking your first drink of the day. And, uh, and so I take it really slow and really gentle. Um, so that's what I'm gonna share with you today. And depending on time, we might add a couple of poses at the end, but mainly we're gonna be doing the sun salutation. Okay, so let's come up to standing. Come to the front of your mat. Let's have one hand on your heart, one hand on your sternum. Your feet can be gently apart. Knees are soft. Let the shoulders drop away from your ears. And let's take five breaths to fully arrive. So breathing in and out through the nose. If you're comfortable with Ujjayi breath, then taking an Ujjayi breath, which basically means that you're breathing in and out through the nose, but you feel a, a gentle vibration in your throat. It can become audible, you can sometimes hear it, but what's more of interest is that you can feel it. Eyelids are down. Reminding ourselves why we're here, what the purpose is of this practice today. And then for the whole of this practice, we're going to have knees bent. We're going to avoid any kind of locking of joints. So we're going to feel as fluid as we can. So before we start even, let's just take a little sway. Why not take hands? interlink fingers and press hands up towards the ceiling and maybe take a little bit of a crescent moon from side to side. I get really satisfying clunks and clicks when I do that. And then bring your hands back down to your side. Let's drop right here to right shoulder. Slowly take chin down to chest. And then move left ear to left shoulder. And we'll just do the semicircle, so coming back down, chin to chest, right ear to right shoulder. And then we'll do the semicircle over the top, so it's as if we're painting a, a rainbow. Inhaling, coming up high, not tempting to take the head back, and exhaling down. And again, inhaling up high, and exhaling. And coming to center, maybe let's take some circles with the elbows. Depending on the space you're practicing in, you might take your arms into full extensions. And noticing that as you inhale, the arms rise and as you exhale, they come back and down. And bringing your arms down to your side, just do the shoulders on their own. Okay, and then bring your hands to your waist, soften your knees again. And we're just going to move the heart in a circle around the hips. Anyone else getting the clunks and clicks that I'm getting? Okay, and then changing direction. And then letting those circles come down to your hips. You might need your knee, your feet further apart for that. And then change direction with the hips. And 
And then bring your hands in front of you and circle your hands. And notice, so if you drop the eyelids, just notice how your fingers and your hands are feeling. They do so much work for us, don't they? And they don't get an awful lot of recognition or attention. And then taking your weight to one foot, bring the other foot up and give it a little circle. Balance is one thing that deteriorates really, really quickly as we get older. So any opportunity that you get to add a balance, even if it's just doing this as you brush your teeth every day, I really recommend it. Okay, taking your weight to your right foot, bring your left foot up. Because losing your balance is rubbish. It has really big repercussions as time moves on. Okay, and then coming back onto both feet. So close your eyelids for a moment, scan your body and just notice for yourself if one foot is pressing heavier into the floor than the other or if you're completely balanced. Very often one side is dominant, one side kind of takes half your energy the, or more than half your energy, like 75% of your energy and the other half is a bit more of a whisper. So we're trying to bring everything into balance. So press all 10 toes down into the floor, press the heels down into the floor, soften the knees. Imagine you're pressing down so heavily, you're leaving an indent in your mat. You're really beginning in a, gr a grounded, rooted place. And then we start to let that breath move through us like ocean waves. So deep inhale, tummy expands, deep exhale, everything comes back to the midline. And things might start to slow down just by your turning awareness onto them. The breath becomes more nourishing, more oceanic. On your next inhale, reach both arms up overhead, reaching the fingertips up nice and tall. And as you exhale, you're going to bend your knees, take your hands down to your thighs and see if you can just come a little bit lower. Have a little wriggle with your hips here. So you're aiming to keep your back really straight. The knees are totally bent. Inhale as you look forwards and as you exhale, maybe the hands come down to the shins. Inhale as you look forwards, knees are still really, really bent. Exhale, take your hands down towards the floor. If I could tell you how many people say to me, I can't do yoga because I can't touch my toes, and it's just the most ridiculous thing ever, isn't it? It's like saying I can't breathe because I need oxygen. It's nothing to do with whether or not you can touch your toes. That has nothing to do with yoga. Inhale as you look forwards. As you exhale, bring your hands to the floor, flat, nice and flat, and your body is kind of lying on top of your thighs. Next inhale, you're going to look forwards, press into your hands, step the right foot as far back as you can, and step the left foot as far back as you can. So you're coming into a plank. And notice my hips, they're not down here, they're up quite high in fact. And I'm going to push my heels back and move my heart forwards, pressing the heart, the palm of my hand into the floor. Elbows are really bent and shoulders are away from the ears. If this is too strong, just drop the knees. And then everybody together, let's drop our knees. And you're going to bend your elbows, keeping them quite tucked in towards you as you lower your hips and your heart down to the floor. Okay, and roll the shoulders away from your ears. Let's do some circles. So your hands are either side of your chest and the shoulder blades are sliding down your back. You can flatten your feet and let's hover the hands just an inch or so above the floor as you inhale and lift your heart. It might just be a milli millimetre movement. Exhale as you come down. 
Maybe the hands touch the floor and you can put a tiny bit of weight on them as you inhale and come up a little further and exhale as you come down. And every time you inhale, you might come a little bit higher, a little bit stronger. But being super sensitive to the lower back, exhale as you come down. Inhale as you come up. So I normally do maybe five of these before I go on. And then now I'm going to tuck my toes under. I'm going to push into my hands and sit back on my heels. Arms stretched out in front. Because this feels like such a great morning stretch here. The back. My back is loving it. I hope yours is too. And I'm going to walk my hands over to the right. Pushing the left sitting bone back. Forehead is down to the floor. Ujjayi breath. Inhale as you walk the hands back to centre. Taking them across to the left. Pushing the right sitting bone back. Forehead to the floor. Inhale as you come back to centre. And returning up into a plank. So you're going to come briefly onto all fours and then straighten your legs. And lifting the tummy up towards your spine. Push into your hands. Watch that the elbows are still soft. Bend your knees. Big, big bend. Like 90 degree bend. And push your sitting bones back to the wall behind you. You're going to line your ears up with your arms and keep pushing the sitting bones back and the knees are still very, very bent. So this is all about the spine. We're not getting into hamstrings yet. We're just making space in the spine. See how deep you can breathe here. And then if you wish, you can start to pedal through the feet. So one heel goes down, the other heel goes down. And then maybe both heels start to make their way down towards the floor. On the next inhale, you're going to lift the gaze to look forwards and take baby steps towards your hands. Knees are still very, very bent. Bring your hands to your waist. Inhale as you come up. Reach your arms up high and then come down through the midline of your body with your hands in prayer, resting at your heart space. So that's the first one. Let's do the second one a bit more dynamic. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Soften the knees as much as you need to. Fingertips press into the floor. Inhale, the heart rises as you look forwards. Exhale as you step back, taking a little plank. Drop the knees, lower yourself slowly towards the ground. Roll the shoulders away from your ears and inhale as you come up into a cobra. You want your heart to be lunging forwards. As much as you rise, you're also moving forwards. Exhale as you come down, tuck the toes under, push into the hands and come straight back into a down dog. And you get to choose here which one, which version of those, th those down dogs works best for you. Perhaps it's with the knees bent, pushing the sitting bones back. Perhaps it's with heels dropping down to the floor. And just be aware if you have pelvic floor strength happening, are you lifting up through the pelvis? And also, how is your breath feeling? Maybe it can deepen. And we stay there for five breaths. On the fifth breath, you're going to inhale and look forwards. 
Walk your feet up to your hands and exhale into a forward bend. Inhale as you come all the way up, reaching your hands up high and exhale, hands to your heart center. Okay, let's do one more. We'll add a few variations to it. Inhale, reach your arms up high. As you exhale, come into a forward bend. Rest the fingers on the floor. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, stepping back. So you have the option to come into Chaturanga. And I really wouldn't recommend Chaturanga if you feel that you're, there's weakness in your core. If you want to do Chaturanga, the best way that I can teach it to you is that you bend the elbows, keep them tight and come drop just a little bit down. You don't want to come so far down that your body goes past your elbows. You're just going to come to above the elbows, hovering there. And then you use your feet to roll you forwards and up. And then you use your feet to roll you back to down dog. And in down dog, you can have a little play. You can take the weight to your left foot and bring your right foot up high behind you. And you can bend that top knee and swivel the hips, looking over to the right. If you take that option, then bring your heel as, as close towards your bottom as you can and lift the knee high. And then press down equally through both hands. In particular, the right hand. And then return to a three-legged down dog. Bring your feet together and we'll do the same on the other side. So the weight goes to the right foot, the left foot rises. Bend the top knee, swivel the hips. Tucking the heel close towards your bottom, lifting the knee high. Looking over to the left and steadying yourself through your hands. Inhale, returning to a three-legged down dog and bringing your feet together. Let's take two breaths here. Line your ears up with your arms. Deepen your breath. And as you inhale, look forwards and step your feet to your hands. Exhale into a forward bend. And inhale as you rise all the way up, bringing your hands to your heart center. Let's add a couple more poses. So let's take the feet slightly further apart. Bring your hands to your waist, roll the shoulders away from your ears. You're going to bend your knees again. For this one, we're going to have really, really bent knees. Inhale, lift the heart. And as you exhale, you're going to lay yourself down over the tops of your thighs and see if you can actually get your armpits to connect with your knees. I realize that's an odd sensation. Don't worry too much if you can't. Bring your hands to the floor. And with this connection between torso and thigh, drop the chin to your chest and start to play with straightening the legs. But what we're not doing is this. We're, we're just playing with supporting the spine on the top of the thighs and feeling into where that takes us. So the only thing that's going to make you push too far here is, is ego and wanting it to look pretty. We're not about it looking pretty. We are wanting it to be resourcing and nourishing. Okay, and then take your hands up to your waist again with those knees bent. Inhale as you come up. And now we get to do the pretty one. So inhale, reach your hands up high. Soften the knees a little, take your hands down to the floor. And you can take your two middle fingers and hook them around your big toe, closing with your thumb. Inhale as you look forwards. And as you exhale, the chin drops towards the chest, the elbows open out to the side. And you can pull yourself gently down towards the floor. Notice the word gentle. Morning practice, super, super gentle. Listen for the sound of your breath. Soften the knees, 
release the hands, inhale as you come up, reach your hands up high overhead. And then I think we've got time for a trick and asana, so come sideways on your mat. And you're going to take your feet wide apart. The front foot's going to point out 90 degrees. The line between this front heel and the highest point of the instep of the back foot is one continuous line. Soften your knees here, get into your hips. And then inhale, open your arms wide to the side. So the palms face down. Notice that there can be a tendency to bring the shoulders up, not helpful. Open up the shoulders, let them drop down so that you have space in your neck. With the knees still a little bit bouncy, inhale, lift the heart. As you exhale, imagine you're reaching to get a glass of water. So you're coming right across. Really important that you take this step because otherwise you just collapse into the trikonasana. Drop the bottom hand down, reach the top hand up high. If that feels too much, you can bring your hand to your waist. All about lifting the shoulder, lifting the chest, feeling open. You can look straight ahead as I am, or you can look up towards your fingertips. Depends on how your neck is feeling. Find your breath here. So things to watch out for are this sort of tumbling forward. I don't want this shoulder coming down. It doesn't feel good for me. So I'd rather be up higher and get that shoulder up than come down lower and drop that shoulder down. And listen out for the sound of your breath and see if you can let it become longer and deeper. Also watching out for the knees because they so love to lock and actually that doesn't build strength at all. And then taking your awareness to your pelvis, is your pelvic floor engaged? Inhale, come all the way up. We're going to swap sides, so just swivel the feet, look down at them, check there's some kind of line between the, the front heel and the highest point of the instep of the back foot. Inhale the arms wide, connect with the pelvis, soften the knees, drop the shoulders. Inhale, lift the heart. And as you exhale, reach across to get your glass of water and then drop the bottom hand down, reach the top hand high. Watch that the knees aren't locking. Watch that the shoulders aren't scooting up to the ears. Maybe your gaze is up at your fingertips. Maybe it's straight ahead. Maybe you can come up a little higher and get some more space across the chest. Or maybe it feels better to come lower. Your breath will be the indicator of if you're really present in this pose or if you're pushing through an edge and not feeling so good. Inhale as you come all the way back up. Bring your hands to your waist, square your feet to the parallel. Let's do one more because we're getting into the flow now. Inhale, reach your fingertips up high. Your feet are parallel, exhale coming into a forward bend, taking your hands directly between the feet, maybe taking a gentle rock from side to side, maybe bending one knee and then the other, dropping the chin towards the chest. Feeling watery, feeling fluid. And when you're ready, take your hands to your waist, inhale as you come back up. And we'll step to the front of the mat. So that is a very gentle morning practice. I hope that you feel a little bit more stretched out and spacious at the end of that. It was a pleasure to share that with you. And um, I'll be back tomorrow with a meditation practice. So enjoy your day. Namaste.